Question number one, true or false, you cannot have more than one Azure subscription per company. Option A. False. Option B. True. The correct answer is option A. False. You can have multiple subscriptions, as a way to separate out resources between billing units, business groups, or for any reason you wish. See the link. Question number two, what is the name of Azure's hosted SQL database service? Option A. Cosmos DB. Option B. Table storage. Option C. Azure SQL database. Option D. SQL server in a VM. The correct answer is option C. Azure SQL Database. SQL Database is a SQL Server compatible option in Azure, a database as a service. Question number three, which feature within Azure collects all of the logs from various resources into a central dashboard, where you can run queries, view graphs, and create alerts on certain events? Option A. Azure Portal Dashboard. Option B. Azure Security Center. Option C. Azure Monitor. Option D. Storage Account or Event Hub. The correct answer is Option C. Azure Monitor. Azure Monitor, a centralized dashboard that collects all the logs, metrics and events from your resources. Question number 4. Can you give someone else access to your Azure subscription without giving them your username and password? Option A. Yes. Option B. No. The correct answer is Option A. Yes. Yes, anyone can create their own Azure account and you can give them access to your subscription with granular control as to permissions. Question number 5. What is a DDoS attack? Option A. A denial of service attack that sends so much traffic to a network that it cannot respond fast enough, legitimate users become unable to use the service. Option B. An attempt to read the contents of a web page from another website, thereby stealing the user's private information. Option C. An attempt to send SQL commands to the server in a way that it will execute them against the database. Option D. An attempt to guess a user's password through brute force methods. The correct answer is option A. A denial of service attack that sends so much traffic to a network that it cannot respond fast enough, legitimate users become unable to use the service. Distributed denial of service attacks, DDoS, a type of attack that originates from the internet that attempts to overwhelm a network with millions of packets of bad traffic that aims to prevent legitimate traffic from getting through. Question number 6. What is the name of the group of services inside Azure, that hosts the Apache Hadoop Big Data Analysis Tools? Option A. Azure Hadoop Services. Option B. Azure Kubernetes Services. Option C. Azure Data Factory. Option D. HD Insight. The correct answer is option D. HD Insight. HD Insight is a collection of open source Apache Hadoop tools. Question number 7. Which of the following methods of deploying a virtual machine provides the highest availability SLA? Option A. Two or more virtual machines across availability zones in the same region. Option B. A single VM. Option C. Two or more virtual machines in an availability set. Option D. Two or more virtual machines in a data center. The correct answer is option A. Two or more virtual machines across availability zones in the same region. Availability zones offer 99.99% availability when configured correctly. Question number 8. One of the benefits of the cloud is agility. What does that mean in the context of the cloud? Option A. The ability to respond to and drive market change quickly. Option B. The ability to spin up new resources within minutes. Option C. The ability of a system to grow its capacity easily when it reaches full capacity. Option D. The ability to recover from a big region-wide failure in a short amount of time. The correct answer is option A. The ability to respond to and drive market change quickly. Agility, the ability to respond to change rapidly based on changes to market or environment, ensuring fast time to market. Question number 9, which ways does the Azure Resource Manager model provide to deploy resources? Option A. Azure Portal. Option B. PowerShell. Option C. CLI. Option D. REST API slash SDK. The correct answer is all of the above. All of those ways can be used to deploy or manage resources using ARM. 
Question number 10. What feature of a system makes it elastic? Option A. The ability to heal itself after a crash. Option B. The ability to withstand denial of service attacks. Option C. The ability to stay up, available, while updates are being made to the system. Option D. The ability to increase and reduce capacity based on actual demand. The correct answer is option D. The ability to increase and reduce capacity based on actual demand. Elasticity, the ability of a system to automatically grow when maximum capacity is reached, and automatically shrink to minimize waste. Question number 11. Which of the following Azure features is most likely to deliver the most immediate savings when it comes to reducing Azure costs? Option A. Changing your storage accounts from globally redundant, GRS, to locally redundant, LRS. Option B. Auto shutdown of development and QA servers overnight and on weekends. Option C. Using Azure reserved instances for most of your virtual machines. Option D. Using Azure policy to restrict the user of expensive VM SKUs. The correct answer is option C. Using Azure reserved instances for most of your virtual machines. Reserved instances often offer 40% or more savings off of the price of pay as you go virtual machines. Question number 12. What type of container is used to collect log and metric data from various Azure resources? Option A. Azure Monitor Account. Option B. Log Analytics Workspace. Option C. Managed Storage. Option D. Append Blob Storage. The correct answer is Option B. Log Analytics Workspace. Log Analytics Workspace is required to collect logs and metrics. Question number 13. What Azure tool gives you the ability to manage multiple subscriptions into nested hierarchies? Option A. Resource Groups. Option B. Reback. Option C. Azure Active Directory. Option D. Management Groups. The correct answer is Option D. Management Groups. Management Groups, a hierarchy of subscriptions, can have many subscriptions, and group them and put those groups into other groups. Question number 14. Logic apps, functions, and service fabric are all examples of what model of compute within Azure? Option A. Serverless model. Option B. SaaS model. Option C. App services model. Option D. IaaS model. The correct answer is option A. Serverless model. The serverless model of compute removes all responsibility to selecting or even managing the server and makes Azure responsible for running your code including scaling. Question number 15. Which Azure service is meant to be a security dashboard that contains all the security and threat protection in one place? Option A. Azure Security Center. Option B. Azure Monitor. Option C. Azure Key Vault. Option D. Azure Portal Dashboard. The correct answer is option A. Azure Security Center. Azure Security Center, Unified Security Management and Threat Protection, a security dashboard inside Azure Portal. Question number 16. True or false, Azure is a public cloud and has no private cloud offerings. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is option B. False. Some aspects of Azure are not open to the public and require a private agreement with Microsoft such as Azure Government and DoD services. Question number 17. What types of resources are defined as compute resources? Option A. Only virtual machines. Option B. All resources that are listed in the Azure marketplace. Option C. Resources that perform some type of task that requires CPU cycles to perform the work. The correct answer is option C. Resources that perform some type of task that requires CPU cycles to perform the work. Compute services, a category of services in Azure that provide CPU cycles for rent. Virtual machines are only one type of compute resource. The marketplace contains many types of resources, not just compute. Question number 18. What feature within Azure will make recommendations to you about reducing cost on your account? Option A. Azure Advisor. Option B. Azure Service Health. Option C. Azure Dashboard. Option D. Azure Security Center. The correct answer is option A. Azure Advisor. 
Azure Advisor analyzes your account usage and makes recommendations for you based on its set rules. Question number 19. What is Azure's preferred identity slash authentication service? Option A. Facebook Connect. Option B. Network Security Group. Option C. Live Connect. Option D. Azure Active Directory. The correct answer is option D. Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, Microsoft's preferred identity as a service solution. Question number 20. What is the most number of virtual machines that can be managed under a single virtual machine scale set? Option A. 1. Option B. 1000. Option C. 10. Option D. 100. The correct answer is option B. 1000. Up to 1000 virtual machines can be managed under a single VMSS. Question number 21. Which feature of Azure Active Directory will require users to have their mobile phone in order to be able to log in? Option A. Azure Information Protection, AIP. Option B. Advanced Threat Protection, ATP. Option C. Azure Security Center. Option D. Multi-factor authentication. The correct answer is option D. Multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, the concept of having something additional to a password that is required to log in. Passwords are findable or guessable, but having your mobile phone on you to receive a phone call, text or run an app to get a code is harder for an unknown hacker to get. Question number 22. A virtual machine is called what type of hosting model? Option A. SAS. Option B. PAS. Option C. IAS. The correct answer is option C. IAS. Virtual machines are infrastructure as a service, IAS. Question number 23. True or false, formal support is not included in private preview mode. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is option A. True. True. Preview features are not fully ready and this phase does not include formal support. Question number 24. What is single sign-on? Option A. The ability to use an existing user ID and password to sign in other applications, and not have to create slash memorize a new one. Option B. When you sign into an application, it remembers who you are the next time you go there. Option C. When an application outsources, federates, its identity service to a third-party platform. The correct answer is option A. The ability to use an existing user ID and password to sign in other applications, and not have to create slash memorize a new one. Single sign-on, the ability to use the same user ID and password to log into every application that your company has, enabled by Azure AD. Question number 25. True or false? Azure still has some responsibilities to manage the hardware even in the infrastructure as a service model. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is option A. True. Yes, Azure still manages the hardware itself, the hypervisor, and all of the physical elements behind the scenes.